Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to do a benchmark shootout between the top smartphones that are out right now. Here you can see we have the Apple iPhone 5S, we have the HTC One M8, we have the Samsung Galaxy S5, and we have the Nokia Lumia Icon. Now, we can't run the same tests on the Lumia Icon that are on these except for a couple different benchmark programs. So, we'll run the ones that are specific to this, which is Basemark OS 2, and we'll have that for each one of these. And then we also have Antutu, and we'll do a quick web browser test as well. So, let's open that up. And you can see it's the same application on each, so we should get a pretty fair result across all of them. Before I begin, all of them have their respective apps closed. You can see there's nothing open here. Same here, well, we had settings open. Nothing open on the HTC One, and nothing else open on the iPhone 5S. So let's start these benchmarks. Now to help speed this along a little bit, I'll speed the video up a little bit as well. We have our results and as you can see, the top smartphone here is the HTC One in this test. Here you can see we have the HTC One, then the Nokia Lumia Icon, then the Galaxy S5, and then the iPhone 5S. Now this test breaks it down into a couple different things. So you can see some are a little better in some areas than other. The iPhone 5S was best in system, but overall you can see the HTC One M8 was best. So it's a pretty good, I think pretty fair comprehensive test. Next we'll move on to Antutu, and it's a little bit different on the icon than on the other phones, but hopefully it will give us a pretty fair benchmark. And Tutu is loaded on each one of these devices. Again, nothing's open on any of these phones. And let's check out the test as, as well. See if we can hit these around the same time. The tests have finished and you can see this time around the Galaxy S5 came in top at 36,716, then the HTC One at 30,075, then the iPhone 5S at 29,604, and then the Lumia Icon at 25,395. Now the, the test on the Lumia Icon obviously wasn't as comprehensive and so take that with a grain of salt and probably use the last benchmark uh, as a true test. Now for the next two benchmark tests, we'll actually not do anything with the Lumia icon. We'll, we'll save that for the browser test because we really don't have anything else we can test with it. So we'll set this to home and shut it off for now and we'll run a different test. This time we're going to run Geekbench 3. So let's turn this off here. and we'll open Geekbench. You can see there's the specs. Let's go ahead and run these tests. Again, this is finished, and in case some of you were wondering, the S5 and the HTC One M8 both have the same exact apps on them. So there's really nothing different running on them and they're just rebooted. They were actually just booted up before any of these tests. So you can see in this test, the iPhone 5S scored best here, at least in the single core score at 1415, then the S5 at 963, and then the HTC One at 896. But in the multi-core test, again, we have the S5, and then the iPhone 5S, and then the HTC One. For the final benchmark test, we're going to run 3D Mark. So we'll open that up on each device, and again, nothing else is running. You can see on each device, nothing's running. 
We'll open that up. And we're going to run Ice Storm Unlimited. So we'll try and run those at the same time on each device. As you can see, it's completed on all devices. The test was a little bit different on the iPhone 5S, but it was the Ice Storm Unlimited test. And the HTC One came in at top at 20,757, followed by the S5 at 18,376, and then followed by the iPhone 5S at 15,062. So all pretty good scores, but obviously in a couple of the different benchmark tests, the HTC One came out on top. For the final test, I just wanted to do a quick real-world browser test just to see how they perform between the, the four different devices. So we have Internet Explorer, Safari, and Chrome on both of these. So we'll open a new tab. And for all of these, we'll just go to my website here. And the load times can vary a little bit depending on signals and things like that. We're more interested in, in scrolling and, and how things just work overall. So we'll load these two, and then these two. And we'll try again on there. So you can see it's loaded on all of them. The HTC One took a moment there for whatever reason. But as far as scrolling, scrolling is smooth on all four devices, and that's been the case in all of my testing. Uh, no hiccups on any of them nice and fast on all of them and you can open multiple tabs and things like that but real world I'm not sure how much those specs mean to you so I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below let me know which device you prefer and why obviously specs aren't everything for some people and for others they are so again let me know what you think in the comments below if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe as always thanks for watching this is Aaron I'll see you next time